This is part two of displaying 3D objects on a Vectrex. In this video, I added back face culling uh, and hidden line algorithms that help make the wireframe object feel solid. So as the handle of the teapot goes behind the teapot, you can't see it, uh, or the spout or anything that's behind is, uh, is not drawn. That's a combination of back face culling and hidden line. Back face calling was easy. I used the shoelace algorithm. Hidden line with vectors I found to be actually kind of difficult and used uh, a bunch of techniques, uh, uh, sort of a, a fake sort of depth map uh, using color that never makes it to the Vectrex, all happens on the Mac and then this process. I can also limit the amount of lines ultimately that are being drawn, all three parts of a triangle or just one or two sides of it to help reduce the faces. All of that together will, in this case, this is about 3,000 lines. I can get it down to, uh, well, 100 if we only draw one, but you know, about 200 lines, uh, which is a big savings. And the more lines we can save, uh, the better the Vectrex is going to draw it. Here is a series of objects being drawn on the Vectrex.